Welcome to the video everyone. We're in Tenerife and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can stay healthy on holiday. Solo, I still remember long ago when I saw you so cold. I gave my jacket blue and gold. Okay, so I'm here at Gatwick Airport and I'm about to board the flight soon to go to Tenerife. Um, it's six o'clock in the morning, just gone six o'clock, and was looking for a drown of juice, but it happens to be at the other terminal, unfortunately. So we spent a bit of time shopping, one of the best bits about before getting onto a flight, four hour flight. Gonna write some of my book on the plane. I'll see you on the other side. One of the best ways to start your day is to have lemon in some water because often we go to restaurants and they put lemon in the water but we often don't know why. And the reason is, is because water by itself is quite acidic but you add the lemon and it neutralizes it, have a lack of energy, you're not gonna you know, have your food and feel bloated afterwards. Also it's refreshing, it's nice to taste and obviously lemon, lemons have vitamins, minerals as well going in and it's a quick way to top up your nutrition, but you can get lemons in the local supermarket, you can ask for it in a restaurant, just add in a lemon to, your, to some water. I often like to have a shot as well, I've got this at the airport, good way to stay healthy on the go. Turmeric shot, this one's a mojo shot, but pretty good way, lemon water. A good thing to do as well is to go for a walk. Good to get out in the sun, you can have your top off. Different things, people choose to do it differently, but ultimately it's good to get out in that sun if you've come from a country where it rains a lot. A bit like the man behind me, just you know, walking, um, taking it in, breathing in the fresh air. Movement is key. Another tip as well, add your music as well. It makes it so much better. Gets you going, motivates you, all of that. <laughs> Okay, so we just finished having breakfast. Really good breakfast, actually, English breakfast. Um, quite cheap, but wasn't bad. But that's the thing, you know, I used to come away and I really got into juicing. So when I'd have like, you know, your orange juice on the side with it, I'd really like, you know, say, oh, I don't want that because it's not how, like I make it at home and it's fresh and stuff. But you got to remember, something I talk about when I do my talks actually, and that is to be flexible because, you know, when you're on holiday, you need to get all the nutrition you can get and it doesn't hurt you to have you know carton orange juice because it's still got some nutrition albeit only around 10 percent but you know you don't want to be the one sitting there on the table and say oh i don't drink that because i only have fresh or i only have cold pressed so when you're out on holiday you know be flexible have it because you know you're only on holiday for a short period of time normally also this beach i've never been on a black sand beach but really cool um looking forward to Chilling out on here over the next few days. Solo. You feel like not that long ago. Wonder where you have flown. So one of my favourite ways to get my nutrition on board is to have a green uh, smoothie or juice. And what's good about this is often when it's blended in, often the ingredients are frozen at source, so you're still getting optimum nutrition. The only downside is they probably add things like carts and apple juice, but when you're on holiday, and you've got a view like this, you know, you take something like this and it tastes really good, really nice. It's got your cucumber, it's got your kale, your spinach, sweetened up with a bit of pineapple. So if you're out and about, grab a green smoothie, because green is the best way to go forward. So my next tip is to keep your mind sharp. People think this video or staying healthy on holiday is all about the physical side, but keeping your mind very sharp and feeding it every day is so important. That's why I like to read. If you're not a big fan of reading, you can always find another way. Audio books, a really good YouTube video. Make sure you keep your mind sharp. 
So one of the best things I like to carry around with me on holiday is this Juice SOS tub of green powder. It's got loads of things in it, wheatgrass, cholera powder, spirulina, all the best combined into this powder that's concentrated, but it's a really good substitute for juicing. All you simply do is add a teaspoon to a bottle of water or a glass, give it a quick shake, similar to what you'd make fresh. Powder is actually 33% more concentrated than the actual stuff in its raw forms. Ultimately, when you're eating a lot of acidic foods, things like that, it's gonna keep you in balance, it's gonna keep you alkalized, and trust me, when you have one of these, the energy you have is unbelievable. So it's been a really good day, um, really sunny out here, but right now I am working on my juicing book. Um, still deciding on a title, but got a few going. Uh, got my inspiration here to read from and take information from. This was a prototype I developed and yeah, just sitting down, doing some work. It's nice to work in a really lovely environment, different environment, you get different insights. But ultimately, I don't see it as work. I see it as something I enjoy to do, just writing. And the aim is to get this book out there and published, um, I self-publish it, and then people can see what juicing really is all about. And the next tip involves your shower. Have a cold shower, because in your day normally, you're gonna face challenges, maybe not on holiday, but when you go back to your normal life, you're gonna have them. The way I like to do it is to have this cold shower. It really does it boost your immunity. Not only does it help you cool down if you're hot, not only does it increase your alertness, but it's almost like a metaphor for life. If you can walk into that cold shower and withstand it, any challenge you have later in the day is gonna be that much easier. So here it goes. So I'm just out here and I'm seeing these guys jump into, you probably can't see it, but they're jumping into the, into the sea on this massive rock. <laughs> and I'm up here quite high anyway, but they're screaming. So funny. If you don't like going to the gym, you can always swim. If you're at a villa or you're at a hotel with a swimming pool, it's a great way to keep fit in a short space of time. Much more enjoyable as well than running sometimes. In the sun, couldn't be better. And I tell you what, since I've started swimming more, I've got so much fitter, I really enjoy it. So when you're on holiday, go swimming. Now, probably one of the main reasons we come on holiday is to relax and there's no better way than after a swim to just sit on a lilo like this, take in the sun and enjoy the time whilst you're away because we don't often get times to reflect in a different environment, but ultimately, you know, to stay healthy, you need to be able to rest, recover. So when you get back home, whatever you do, you can go again even better than before because um, you need to rest, body needs to have a recharge. So no better way than just to relax in the sun. How do you stay healthy on holiday? Me? Yeah. I sleep. I've sleep. had a two hour sleep today and I'm so tired. So another way to stay healthy, get more sleep. Okay, so I've got my ice cream. I tell you what, people will say, that's not healthy. How, how come you're putting that in this video? And the thing is, you've seen what I've had today, all the healthy stuff, the fact I've exercised, had the green powder, all of that. Yet people will still say, you can't have ice cream. But the thing is, this is what I believe, that I'm normal. And I like to enjoy myself on holiday because I wouldn't often have this. And I think it's good for your well-being to enjoy yourself. People who say that, they're just too strict on themselves. And tomorrow, I'm gonna show you the next part of the video, how to stay healthy. But right now, got a little spoon in this ice cream as well. Gonna enjoy it. Catch you tomorrow. Okay, so it's 
Friday the 21st of June. It's a bit overcast today, but we're gonna go to a small bakery for breakfast and it's in these little mountains, it's quite nice. Let's get in there. <laughs> supermarket and I found some juices what's good about all of these ones here you know you've got a green juice green blends is that it's actually made through a process called high pressure processing which means which means that the bacteria is killed but not through heat but through pressure which means you're not losing out on nutrition because of that heat and a lot more nutrition is going into these you've got your little shots as well they did have some ginger shots the other day had one really nice um, but yeah, another way to make sure you don't go for these carton ones, but you go for the ones in the bottles. They last quite a long time in the supermarket because this new method is a really good way of doing it. Also, you can't forget fruit and vegetables themselves. Often in countries like this, you know, got like fresh watermelon, it just tastes so nice that you don't need to do things like blend it. You just eat it because it's so fresh. So, you know, so much better than sometimes what we get in our own country that you just pick one of these up and that is what you have. If you've seen one of these orange juice machines, really good way in a supermarket, they have them in restaurants where you make fresh orange juice. Now what's good about this is it's fresh, you see the oranges and you make them into bottles. Downside is that often it's only pressing them where you get the sugary liquid part of the orange and you're not getting the outside layer of the pith which has got 90% of the nutrition but whilst you're on holiday, if you see one of these, definitely have one because it's one of the best things you can do whilst you're on holiday. Now, obviously, all of these carton juices are better for you than a chocolate milkshake or a coffee or things like that. But you have to remember that they're in cartons, they've been stored for a long time, they don't have any aliveness to them. They're, you know, they've been killed essentially. All the enzymes, most of the vitamins have been denatured but that's not the aim of being on holiday. The aim is to get some nutrition, so that's why if you can't get your hands on, you know, the pressed stuff, the cold pressed stuff, go for the carton because it's still gonna give you some nutrition, albeit small, but something's better than nothing. So shopping all done, and with my family, they're just finishing off the shopping, but I thought I'd come out here, shopping with a view. Not many supermarkets have a nice view like this. Good to clear your mind and tell you what the view out here is phenomenal. Sea view. It's nothing better once you finish exercising to see that and to know you can go back to the swimming pool and relax. Dad should be here somewhere. Got a personal trainer with me. Yeah. Personal trainer. Portable personal trainer. Okay, so I'm back from the gym, and the best thing I like to do on an empty stomach is to have a ginger shot. Got this in the local supermarket. Get your hands on one of these if you can. If you didn't check out my video on how to make one of these at home, check out the link below. I really swear by these when you're traveling. All the time I have one of these every day where I can. Really good for keeping sore throats away, but also gives you a kick in the morning or afternoon. One of the best things you can have. Bit of ginger, lemon, and apple mixed into one. Also, I've got my avocado swimming trunks on. I had some avocado earlier on. The good thing about avocado as well, it's one of the only foods that actually live off exclusively and it's got the seven human needs in it. But apart from that, if you're having things like, you know, parma ham, 
meats like that, it balances it out. So if it's got a lot of fat, it's got the good fats, it balances it all out. So you won't have to worry, you can eat what you want as long as you have the good fats going in. Okay, so just about to go out for our evening meal now, but I've got two more tips for you. When it's hot, get some Evian spray and just spray it all over you, hydrates your skin. Second thing as well, this is what I carried on the flight with me, little ginger, sort of um, almost like sweets, but they're ginger. So if you can't get your shot, you can have it in this little sweet, uh, gluten free and extremely powerful. You can get the, the weaker ones or get the blue stronger ones. Holland and Barrett, any place like that. Another two really good tips to stay healthy. So I found this nice spot down by uh, the sea. And as you see, I found one of these exercise things you find in parks at home. But that's the thing, you can find a place anywhere to exercise and keep active with a nice view as well at this place. So always be on the lookout. Right, so just been down by them rocks. I'll tell you what, a really good cardio test. If you don't want to go to the gym, is the stairs. These are very steep, but a good way to keep fit. Do it every day, won't have a problem when you get back to the gym, back to fitness after your holiday. But ultimately, you don't have to do anything on holiday apart from relax because, you know, you have a lot of smoking going on, you eat a lot of food. But as someone once taught me, your body is designed to survive. So it doesn't matter if you're away for seven days, 10 days, two weeks, three weeks, your body can cope with just about anything. So you don't have to apply any of this video because you're on holiday and you come away to relax and reset. But if you just do one of them, then you'll be shocked at how amazing you'll feel if you keep one of those things up. Okay, so I finally made it to the beach. This black sand beach. I've never been on black sand until now. I'll tell you what, this is up the stuff I put in my charcoal shot. But that's another good tip. If you see a charcoal shot in the shops, Grab one, good for digestion, good for removing toxins, and um, yeah, walking across this stuff like walking on lava. But I'll tell you what, really nice beach, um, different, definitely different, but just gonna relax now, I'm gonna jump in that water, and it's a really nice day. Let's go see the back sand. Hot, but you must come in. Lucky, lucky. Okay. Yeah, it's very really nice. I like them, Keith. They look good. I can't see. No, I do like them. Yeah, this mine. Mummy. I can't see out of them. So I hope you enjoyed the video, everyone. I certainly did making it. If you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up. Click subscribe down below and click the bell notification so you get informed of my next video. This view is really amazing. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one.